Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Lenovo YP1M which is a budget oriented Android device from Lenovo and the thing with this Lenovo YP1M is that it has that massive battery which is a 3900 milliamp hour battery and I have been testing this device for the last couple of weeks so I'll be sharing the pros and cons obviously yes the highlighting point is the battery life and the battery life is actually very good I'll talk about the battery life uh, later on in the pros and cons but before we Proceed, let me give you a configuration overview. This YP1M is powered by a MediaTek quad core processor that's clocked at 1 gigahertz. It has 2 gigabytes of RAM. It has the Mali D720 GPU, a 5 inch 720p HD screen, 16 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card support, a 8 megapixel rear facing camera, a 5 megapixel front facing camera, a 3900 milliamp hour battery, which also supports quick charging and it also has nano coating. So this is the Lenovo YP1M and uh, it sports that 5 inch screen and you might be wondering that the phone might be really heavy because it has that 3900 milliamp hour battery uh, but surprisingly the phone is okay yes it's slightly on the heavier side it weighs 148 grams but it is comfortable and not very bulky in my opinion. Uh, the back cover can be opened as you can see this but the surprising thing is that uh, as you can see, it says do not remove the battery. So if you remove it, the warranty would go. The good thing is that it is a proper dual SIM device. So you can actually add two SIM cards and you can also add a, a what do you say, micro SD card. Also regarding storage, it's good that we have 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Uh, so storage is not an issue with this phone. And I'll talk about the battery life later on, as I've mentioned. And regarding the uh, user interface, it runs on the Lenovo's custom UI that is known as the uh, Vibe UI. You get these quick toggles over here. And again, uh, it's a custom UI. And this is standard Android settings that you get. But the good thing is that out of the box, uh, we get the Android uh, version that is 5.1 that is Lollipop. So at least you are getting the latest version of Lollipop out of the box with this device. And for the most part, it handles it well. Uh, I have noticed some minor stuttering uh, sometimes. Uh, and that happens just about 5-6% times but for the most part it runs it actually well and uh, these are the three uh, touch type capacitive buttons on the bottom and uh, they actually uh, light up at night but it's very dim uh, right now you can't see it because of the studio lights but they have backlighting for multitasking you have to actually hold this for a while and you get to this multitasking tray and uh, actually let me just uh, show you that and it uh, runs actually very well as you can see even multitasking the performance was good for example let's open up this one of this and as you can see uh, the RAM management is actually good uh, most of the apps stay in the memory and as you can see the touch response is good it has five uh, multi-touch points and regarding the screen quality this is one thing that I was actually impressed the screen quality is actually very good on this phone whites actually look white and even the viewing angles were nice uh, and also the speaker uh, is good though uh, the speaker is only uh, on one it's not a dual speaker but let me actually show you let's open up one of the videos let's try to run one of the YouTube videos also USB OTG functionality work I checked that for example let's check one of my own videos so this is the video and as you can see the speaker this is the speaker this is not the speaker and the viewing angles are nice and uh, it's a 720p HD screen so as you can see on YouTube you can go up to a 720p I also tried playing 1080p files and it could play that fine so regarding the screen quality the screen quality was good and also the in hand feel is nice uh, uh, about the device Next, if we talk about gaming, I did play some games with this device and the good thing is that it could play all of the games fine but again, some of the heavy games we had to keep the graphic settings at medium. Also, it did not exhibit any overheating issues with gaming. Now, if we talk about the camera, the rear facing camera is actually an 8 megapixel uh, shooter and the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel shooter and I would say the camera is sort of average. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad. And it's just strictly average in my opinion and the first thing that you should do is you should go to the settings and go to this camera and by default it will be in the widescreen mode uh, but if you go in the widescreen mode it uh, scales down to 5 megapixel shooter so for the full 8 megapixel go back to the 4 by 3 ratio and we have the standard tap to focus and if you just click in you can take the snaps 
and as you can see these are some of the sample shots that I've taken with this device and as you can see in outdoor conditions the camera performance was good but when we move to indoor lighting conditions and artificial lighting the quality goes down and the images are a little bit soft that's the same thing even with the front facing camera outdoor the front facing camera performance was fine but in indoor lighting conditions uh, there is quite a bit of noise and even the pictures are soft so the camera is okay it's not bad like some other people have said but it's just okay camera in my opinion so let's now break down this Lenovo vip P1M between the pros and the cons let me actually first talk about the pros and later on then we'll move to the cons I've made a list so let's go over that and the first thing is regarding the screen quality the screen quality is actually very good and the screen is also really uh, bright even in outdoor conditions when you keep it on auto brightness the screen is easily visible but one con is uh, uh, that that the screen is a fingerprint magnet i did not apply the screen guard that came with it but i think so you should apply that next uh, if we talk about the battery life that is the highlighting point about this device and i have to say the battery life was nothing short of incredible i got the best battery life among all the smartphones that I've tested and guys I do test a lot of phones and in terms of screen on time I was getting anywhere between eight and a half hours to almost nine and a half hours of screen on time with my typical uh, usage and in fact I gave this phone even to my sister-in-law uh, who is actually a doctor she gets actually a lot of calls her phone was giving up some problems so I gave uh, this phone to her and she also said me that the battery life is nothing short of incredible for her uh, she's always on mobile data and she was telling me that she had to charge the phone only after two odd days so again the battery life is the highlighting point about this de device so if you are mostly looking for a device uh, and are always worried about the battery life then this Lenovo YP1M would be for you the battery life is actually very good on this device uh, next uh, the good thing is that many of these uh, budget vendors what they do is that uh, they do not supply fast charger but that's not the case the charger that Lenovo has supplied with this uh, phone is actually the fast charger and though the battery is a huge battery almost 4000 milliamp hour battery uh, with the supplied charger it can charge within two hours so it does support fast charging so that's a good thing. Um, next thing is the speaker uh, though it is just having a single speaker but the speaker volume is uh, loud and also the ringtones volume are loud and clear next if we talk about the cellular call quality the cellular call quality was also very good I have no problems regarding the cellular call quality also it has the other basic stuff like USB OTG functionality work it also has a LED notification light uh, so those were the pros of this device but the biggest highlight is the battery life now let's talk about some of the things that I did not like on this device and the first thing again as I mentioned is the holophobic coating is not there so the phone is sort of a fingerprint magnet within about 10 minutes of usage uh, you can get fingerprints on this so it's a good idea to put some sort of a finger uh, what do you say sorry uh, screen guard on this also it does not have gorilla glass protection so you have to be aware of that so investing in a good quality uh, screen guard or uh, even uh, what do you say those uh, glass screens that you get uh, would be a good idea next if we talk about the second weak point with this device is the camera don't get me wrong the camera is not bad but again the camera performance is also nothing that great to talk about it's strictly a very average camera if you're looking for a uh, actually a better camera in this price range I would say the Mizu M2 or even the Redmi 2 Prime have better camera compared to this Lenovo YP1M but overall I would say this phone was a very good phone also in general day-to-day -day performance also the phone performed very well and also the battery life is also very good also the standby time is also good for example at night uh, with about seven hours if the phone is just lying down it drained just about two to three percent battery life hence the battery life is also really good that is the highlighting point about this device so if you are in the market looking for a budget oriented device that works well has good call clarity 4g works and the battery life is your highest priority then you can have a serious look at this Lenovo YP1M I've also posted other videos uh, like its gaming review so you can check out that for more info and again if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video